Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Marvin again, back with another music reaction. Uh, this time I'll be going back to Fish uh, by request. Uh, this song is Life Boy um, from October 21st to 95, it looks like. Um, this is definitely a request um, that some people put in on my channel, um, and I just want to go ahead and react to it. And one one thing I do want to say is thank you. Thank you to the Fish fans. Um, somebody replied on one of the videos that I guess one of my videos made it to Reddit. And like people are seeing it on there and it's kind of circulating around. So, hey, if that's the case, if you're here from Reddit, I appreciate you, <laughs> you know. So, of course, I'm going I'm to reflect. Um, I'm going to react to some more fish uh, music, kind of get more into their catalog and kind of see what they're about. Um, I definitely like from the videos I've listened to so far. I'm definitely digging them. So um, before we get too far, of course, I got to say like, comment, share and subscribe um, because, of course, I'm just trying to grow my channel, get my content out there. And, you know, I just want to, you know, if anything, yo, I just want to make your day a little bit better. I, I can be a good distraction for somebody somewhere, <laughs> you know, and if I can do that by 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 listening to good music, I'm, I'm down for it. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go into Fish Live. Um, it's my first time hearing this song, so I've never heard it before, uh, along with other music from him. So from them, obviously. So let's check it out. Fish, let's go. of twine Entangled in the remnants of the knot I left behind And asking you to help me make it finally unwind To what I say So very So very Hard And you don't get a refund If you overpray I'm going to pause right there My man said You don't get a refund if you overpray that's D right there, man. It's like, you know, uh, <laughs> how do I want to say this? Uh, it seems like sometimes uh, religious folks, you know, use prayer as currency, if that makes sense. And maybe I'm overthinking it or maybe I'm not in context of the song, you know, where it's like you think you can spend currency like that, where it's like if you pray enough, you'll get this. You pray enough, you'll get that, you know. And if you're super religious, honestly, if you know, if you're depending on how you believe or whatever, maybe like if you don't pray, maybe you'll get it because God is just like, yo, just chill and I'll give it to you. Relax, <laughs> you know? But yeah, like you don't get a refund if you overpray. If you pay, if you pray too much and something doesn't happen, you don't get that prayer and you don't get the prayers you already spent back. <laughs> so I like that lyric right there. You know, that just, that just sparks something right here. Maybe I'm, like I said, maybe I'm overthinking it, but if I'm not, hey, I, I, if that's what it is, definitely let me know in the comments below. I definitely want to, you know, see if that, see if I'm on target with that. Let me rewind, rewind it back because I, I like the first couple lines before that, um, and then we'll go back. And uh, one more thing, I do pause my videos a lot. Sometimes I rewind, um, you know, just to go back and re-listen sometimes. So if that's something you don't like, um, this channel might not be for you because I kind of do that in all my videos. <laughs> so just a fair warning. It's a fair warning. All right, let's go back a little bit. To what I say So very So very Hard And you don't get a refund If you overpray
time is breaking And when I'm near the end When all the time spent leading I've been Following instead When all my thoughts and memories Are left hanging by a thread To what I say, God never listens. To what I say, so very, so very hard, and you don't get a refund if you over pray. Pause again, yo. That that chorus right there, like, let me have a exit. <laughs> let me have an existential moment here, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I guess sometimes people feel like there's a disconnect between them and God. So maybe that's what he's talking about with the line, talking about um, throwing the line out and it, and it's breaking or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm throwing a line out and it's just he's basically fishing for answers, the pun intended. <laughs> you know, and he's just not getting the the response that he wants you know what i'm saying and that happens sometimes like for real like sometimes you just feel like everything that you want isn't coming true in the way that you want it but you know if you're a religious person you're gonna say you know wait on him like wait on the lord like that's literally in the bible like you know because uh quick note on myself i've come from a pretty religious background you know what i'm saying and so forth so i'm not gonna jump on all that but you know that's something that they try to instill in you is like the how faith is set up like it's the uh well i forget what they say anyway not, <laughs> i don't want to go into it like that anyway but just for the context of the song like i like i like the lyric and i definitely like the sentiment he's putting out there you know because sometimes you know people feel like that it's just, and it's okay it's okay to feel like that nothing wrong with that you know but I, but i like that effect that they put into a song so i'm not gonna rewind it but i'm i like that <laughs> second i appreciate the grand piano right there <laughs> like just fyi uh the keyboardist right here man like you can tell he's he knows his stuff he's got the the uh grand by like i think it, i think it's a grand piano if not it's like a really nice one whatever piano that is he's got the organ behind him like i don't know if that's a hammond organ or what the heck that is but it looks amazing you know what i'm saying and my man's just doing this thing you know like i like that and and i could hear him harmonizing with uh, the lead singer you know what I'm saying? Doing the background vocals and stuff. So he, he can sing a little bit too. I, I appreciate that, you know? And uh, just on, on the band right now, I'm like smooth, you know what I'm saying? They're really tight in it, you know? 
they're they're working together, obviously, because they're a band and stuff, but they're like in sync. You know what I'm saying? And like that's the that's obviously the the sign of a good band, you know, where you don't hear anybody like off tempo or out of pocket or anything like that. I like that. So, you know, so I had to make a quick observation on the piano because uh I like pianos. <laughs> To what I say so very so very hard and you don't get a refund if you overplay the fact that they're getting their solos in again you know what i'm saying like <laughs> how often do you hear like just a piano solo or a keyboard solo in a band like for real like it doesn't i mean in other bands i should say it doesn't really happen that often that i've seen you know and he's doing a whole solo over here on the on the keyboard you know and like my man's over here on the drums holding it to holding it together you know what i'm saying and they're just jamming out right now vibing out you know what i'm saying like come on man that's dope let's go man fish is doing it let's go <laughs> for a second so i know i know what the message is is in this song but i had a little funny thought if you change one word in this song this is probably like the most inspirational song you'll ever hear because <laughs> right now he's saying god never listens what if you flip that to god always listens to what i say hmm? how different would this song be you could put this in any mainstream church in any uh place in the planet and it would be like a number one hit in every church everywhere. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought about that. But think about that. Like, God always listens to what I say. And it could be in one of those mega churches with the words behind you and all that good stuff that they do. 
Um, I'm old enough to remember, uh, I forget what it was called, like Crystal Cathedral. Um, it used to come on Sundays, and there was a guy, the older guy, and they would always, like, broadcast on Sunday, you know. And he was probably one of the better, like, televangelists of that era at the time because he wasn't, like, super preachy, but he was always funny and gave a little message and all that. But, yo, like, that guy was cool. Like, I liked watching him. <laughs> but every time they had the music come up, like, they had this thing in the back and people singing. It looked really cheesy to me. But anyway, but... <laughs> Anyway, I didn't mean to like derail from the song like that, but think about that for a moment. Flip one word in this song and you got the best like Christian anthem of all time. <laughs> Cuz obviously he's they're questioning like, you know, they're they're like, "Hey, God never listens to what I say." So if there is a God, he's not either not listening to me or he's ignoring me and everything that I'm doing so far isn't working. Or if you flip it, one word. One word. And then guess what happens? You know what I'm saying? You get a country song in reverse. <laughs> God always listens to what I say. I got the dog. I got the cat. I got the wife. I got the kids. I got the job. I got the money. I got the fames. I got the fortune. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That just kicked in my head for a moment. So I'm going to rewind it because I, I went on a little bit. Uh, but I like that. But yo, just the song as a whole, I'll get my thoughts here and then. It's almost over. So I got a minute left. Let's go. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Give it up for fish. Give it up for fish one time. Oh, sorry, I had my pineapple drink in my hand. I, I didn't want to mess it up. So uh anyway, that was fish uh live from Lincoln, Nebraska. Life boy. Um the title is kind of weird to me, but maybe there's something deeper in the title that I missed. Come Life Boy. Um, I might have to kind of research what the title is, or if you guys know what the title specifically means, uh let me know. I'm assuming it's a, obviously it's connected to the lyrics in the song. I didn't catch every lyric, but I got the gist of the song, the meaning. So, uh, you know, I, I see what they're talking about. But again, I think for real, like if you change one word in that song, you'd have the best song ever. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like, you know, something you could put in a church or whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, just that's just the mind of Marvin. Sometimes I'm I'm different. <laughs> I'll say it that way. So at any rate, if you rock with me this long, hey, I just want to say thank you. Fish fans out there, thank you for watching. Um, definitely comment below if you want to see me react to any of their songs or mute. Um, or videos, live performances, whatever, or even not even fish related. If there's other um, genres you want to see or other things you would recommend that I check out, um, let me know. Just put in the comments below and I'll read, I read every comment. So I'll go back through and um, pull out ones or, or I, I might even respond to it. I typically do anyway. So um, anyway, I'm going to check out another video here in a couple minutes. So I'm going to reset for that. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so thank you um, again. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. Hope everybody's out there being safe and behaving. And I'll catch you on the next video.